All right, all right. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Eddie San, the optimistic marketer, bringing you marketing techniques for the always changing digital world. Welcome to another episode today. Today, we're going to talk about the five elements that you may be missing in your website that actually converts for you. And that's what's coming up next. Of course, uh, welcome everybody. If this is your first time, I do appreciate you. First time watching this recording as well. Thank you so very much. Um, I do go live simultaneously to multiple channels. So right now, you're going to see me do another introduction and that's going to be to Instagram. So here we go. Hey everybody, Eddie San here, The Optimistic Marketer. And today I'm going to talk about five elements of a website that actually converts and that's coming up next all right cool awesome welcome everybody welcome thank you so much and um for being here thank you for watching the recording again uh this is the time where i show you the marketing techniques for the always changing digital world it is something that if you have not realized that yet we are being pushed into the virtual world into the digital age like more than ever before and uh it comes to the point where parents are now making the decision of doing homeschool or not doing virtual school or not so what i bring to you every day monday through friday at 12 p.m eastern standard time 9 a.m pacific I bring you some techniques that will get you to expand your business online. Maybe give you some inspiration, some ideas that you need to start looking into and prepare for this marketing, this, this digital marketing shift that's happening right now. And it's a great opportunity. It's a huge opportunity. Yes, there are problems in the world, in your community, in our country. But you know what? With every problem comes the opportunity and it's up to us as leaders in the business community to make the best out of it and be a leader to our community as well, to our market. So I really, really hope that you are listening to my advice, my consultations that I come here for you and, and everything that I've given you. So today, it's a special one. Today, I want to actually go over the page that you should do it. And this is this is why I want to do this today, because it doesn't matter. I don't know if you can hear me better now. I had this fan going, but it doesn't matter if you know everything about the ads. Uh, just uh, yesterday, for example, I gave you the information on what you need to know about your audiences when you create your Facebook ads. But even if you had the perfect ad, the perfect audience, the market exactly where you want it to go, you're getting a little bit of, uh, of, um, of cl uh, clicks per cost with a lot of high return on your ad. But if you don't have a website that sells, if you don't have a process that nurtures your visitors, to your website, what's the use? You'll probably end up paying and paying for your advertising because people will show up to your web page and if it's not set up decent enough to convert that visitor into a lead, which eventually becomes a customer for you, it means a sale. If you don't have that, you see, you, you've lost that person. You've lost that visitor. So there are the extreme where people will tell you, hey, you need to hire a web designer person to create your web page and make it look all fancy and beautiful. Well, there is a time for that, okay? I'm not saying that's wrong, but I'm telling you right now, there is a time for that if you're just starting out or if you're if something is broken in your conversion besides your ads besides you taking a look at your ads and testing them make sure that they're working right if they're if if, if people are falling 
off your process by reaching your website, then guess what that is? It's your website. Something is happening with that. And a lot of times, the simple approach actually works the best. So I always recommend when you do websites, um, especially for us as business, small business owners, just consider what you're asking, right? When you go to a web designer uh, or a brand expert, branding expert, I think that's what they're calling themselves now. You've got to consider what is it that they're going to give you because a lot of times you can save a couple of thousand dollars and just practically follow this guideline that I'm going to show you today and be done with it. And once it's working, of course, you're going to make it better. Of course, you're going to make it look prettier, more professional and so on. But when you're starting out, just what do you care about is what? Getting that lead, making that, converting that lead into a customer, into a raving fan, which will eventually be able, uh, which will eventually they'll buy from you. They'll come back and keep coming back to you, right? So here we go. Let's get into it right now. Hmm. So if you have questions, by the way, let me know. Um, I think I have this turned on. Yep, I got it. All right, so five elements. Okay, so let's start with number one. The number one element that you need to master, this is actually the crucial part of your entire page. It's your headline. Now, this is the part. This headline thing. Okay, let me tell you, when I first started doing and creating my websites, what I did, again, I didn't know any better. I just went and looked at all the web pages and I saw the headline. It will be something like this. Uh, lose 10 pounds in three days without any uh without 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 st stopping your sugar craving or yeah whatever i'm just coming up with stuff now <laughs> okay without stopping eat uh, without eating oh okay i know what i'm gonna say i'm gonna want to say three days <laughs> lose 10 pounds I, I don't think there's something like that out there don't even think that i'm giving you an, an example on how to lose weight lose 10 pounds in three days without the pain of not eating uh sugar i don't know like that okay so i will see something like this okay and why I was interested in just looking around to see what I can do for when I was starting my web pages back in the days, many years ago. Um, I would look and see, okay, well, this sounds like a, a commercial, right? Like, a, like an enticing thing. And so I started to play around with that. Here is the thing, though. What I did not realize, which I'm going to show you right now, is that a headline like this is a precise approach to a specific group of people in your market, okay? Um, so let me start with this. This right here is what people want, right? That's what they want. This right here is for those who want it now. And this right here, I said it right there, like all of this right here, is to avoid the pain. So <laughs> isn't that something? Isn't that isn't that all of us? Come on. Be real with yourself, right? Is oh, hey Bridget, while you eat what you want. <laughs> yeah, there you go. While you eat what you want. That's it. That's another one, right? So, but isn't this something? Every one of us, every one of us, you you and me alike, we are always looking for what we want. Check. Right? Then what happens? We need it now, right? Have you ever had that 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 craving to go and buy something now? I I know I have. As a matter of fact, in sales, you know that in sales we buy emotionally. After the sale, 
is when we are logically making our, our purchase that it was the right thing. I hope you know that. It's the same thing online, okay? So here is the now. It takes care of that craving like, I need to have it now, right? Especially in three days. Can you imagine losing 10 pounds in three days? That'd be crazy. Uh, all right, and then of course, why else do we go and buy stuff? To avoid the pain. See, we, we never make any choice about making our lives better or purchasing something to, to, to help us do something better until it's either broken or we're so frustrated, we just, okay, this is so painful, I cannot handle it any, anymore. We need to get to the point of that pain, right? Well, in a headline like this, the pain, the pain of not eating sugar in this example, or for example, uh, well, see, so Bridget, that was that was good. While you eat what you want, that's good. However, you've got to be more descriptive, right? You've got to, what is it that they want? Sugar, right? So in this pain right here, most people in the fitness industry, weight loss industry, we're craving sugar all the time, right? So it's a painful experience to for you to come and tell me, hey, Eddie, why don't you go ahead and uh, train with me? We we'll lose some weight. And by the way, you're going to have to give up your sugar. Ugh, like, are you serious? My cake, my muffins, my this, my that, right? So avoiding this, that, that pain, oh, yeah, it is a pleasurable experience. What? You mean I can lose weight? Not only now, the 10 pounds that I want for that dress or for the beach, uh, beach ready, and I can eat the sugar all I want? Hey, sign me up. That is what it's all about. But I'm giving you this example, right? Because this right here, when there are good headlines, again, this is, um, you know, I'm just giving you an example. This is not even a really, really good headline. But to give you the example, every headline has something like this right here, okay? Why? Because whoever lands on this page they are going to, you're going to catch their attention. So why is the headline so important? Well, my friends, it's because in sales is the same way here online. We only have about a three second time, three seconds for someone to land on your page and make a choice immediately if they want to keep going further and read and sign up and get what you have. Three seconds. Here's three seconds. You ready? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. I'm out of the. Uh, I'm out of it if that headline didn't catch my attention. Okay. So what's number two? All right. Number two, you gotta immediately tell them what the, why they're there. Okay. So why are you here? Okay. There. Why are you here? That's the second part. So after the headline, you catch their attention, you gotta quickly tell them why they're there. And what this means is benefits. Immediately, you've gotta do the benefits. All right, so as an example of that headline, let's see if uh, we can come up with, I can come up with something right now on the fly, right? <laughs> Um, okay, so we talked about the 10 pounds and uh, in, in, in three days, and you can still eat the sugar. So here's the benefits. Uh, number one, you won't feel like you're losing your food, right? You won't feel like you're in a diet. That's a huge benefit. Uh, you can eat what you want. That's uh, another benefit. Um, you'll look good. Oh, no, people will stop you. No, your neighbors are going to stop you because you're looking so good and ask you what you're doing. That's a that's an ego benefit, right? Feed my ego. Uh, what's another one? Uh, you're going to be able to play more with your grandchildren because you've got less weight and be able to run around with them. That's a benefit, right? It's something emotional. Uh, what else? What else can we, can you guys like come up with something? You can always comment here, even if you're watching the recording. I want to see what you guys know about benefits. That is something that it's very important, especially with a website. You know, remember the website needs to sell for you when you're not available. So 
you better make sure you're talking about benefits immediately. But you get the point, right? So the benefit, how is that going to make this person feel? Remember, it's all about them. It's all about the person visiting. Forget about your, uh, I'll give you the other example. Forget about your features for a moment, okay? Don't go and say, you need to get in here because my program is the best, because you're gonna get this, because uh, uh, my equipment, my, my diet uh, has uh, uh, regula regulatory uh, uh, FDA approved uh, supplements and they are tasty for your stomach, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Just tell me what I'm going to, why? Why am I going to get this 10 pounds in three days with eating sugar? Like, why, why is that important to me right now? You got to tell me. See, I already know the benefits when you caught my attention. You just got to write them out. <laughs> you know, once I'm reading, you got my attention. I'm reading and what I'm going to be doing is this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, if I'm like, if I'm agreeing with what I'm reading, you got me. You got me. I'll buy whatever it is that you have. So, very important, okay? You show them the benefit. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to erase this because I can't write the, the other things. All right, so number three, what's number three? All right, so number three, after the benefits, you need to have a call to action. All right, call to action immediately. Okay, this is usually where you put, place the button, okay? the. You know, you know that button, right? I right. just just don't don't make it too um don't be too loud about it. And what I mean by that is don't say something like get it now because there's only nine spots. Don't do that. I mean, okay, let me let me rephrase that. If you're giving out a voucher, for example, and let's say is to visit your location. Well, if if it's true that you can only get certain amount of people into your location, especially now in the times that we live in, right? You can only have certain amount of people in a group setting or in your gym or in your facility, in your business place. So if it's true and you only have nine available vouchers, then do it. You just need to have someone or yourself go there and update how many vouchers you have. But don't let me find your website and then you say that it's a it's a in, in the in the next three hours if you don't get this you won't enter or you won't have this benefit this this thing whatever it is that you have in the next three hours it'll go away and then I come back the next day and it's the same three hours oh don't do that oh we only have nine available space and this is something in a hurry and then that nine never changes or worse it goes higher <laughs> like. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be true. Be honest and be straight up. Listen, hey, if if it's actually just take it now, then take it now. If it's going to cost them something, if it's going to cost them a thousand dollars, do that. Don't say get it now, because if not a thousand dollars, you're not going to ever get it ever again. OK. All right. So number three, that's the call to action. No. Oh, let me not erase that one because I can still write it here. Number four. What is it? Go ahead and add an image, right? The, the concept of advertising is still goes online. And what, what is that? It is the, the true. It's true. This is so true that a picture will always speak a thousand words, right? Be louder than a thousand words, whatever the saying is. If anyone can help me out, whatever that saying is, that a picture is like a thousand words or something. Anyway, point is people buy what they see. And when they make an emotional connection to what they're seeing, your chances just increase to sell that or to promote or to give that or whatever it is that you're doing uh, for your products or services. Okay, so you've got to have some type of image. Now, here is the catch. Right. Listen, here's the catch. Don't put your image there. Don't be like, you know. You with a fancy car, or do you with a bunch of money, or you with your book, right? Or or your work. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just go ahead and put an image of whatever it is that they're gonna get. That's it. Simple, right? Uh, do your best to make it pretty too, though. Okay, make sure it's a nice picture. Uh, you don't have to go and pay for a photographer to take this picture, 
But I mean, make it decent. Today's phones, they're pretty much amazing at taking the good images. All right, and number five, number five. This is where you can get a little bit good about what is happening in your world, in your business, by telling them, oh, I can't, I can't write testimonials. I had to think about how to write that. Then you can actually show people what your market is experiencing with what you have. If you're a location right now that offers a, some type of service, uh, classes, uh, gym, uh, uh, maybe you're a cook and you have a restaurant, um, offer food, you know, all anything. You can practically, whatever it is that you're doing, a program, a digital program, whatever it is, you need to get some people that have gone through your services, your programs, and you need to make sure that you add them. Oh, and by the way, how many do you add? Three to four. Three to four is a good number. Don't fill up everything else. Don't do that. Just three to four. Um, I think someone had asked me, do we put videos there, testimonial videos? It depends. If, if they are short, less than a minute, then maybe. Um, I prefer just uh, typed, right? So when people send me emails or messages, I usually just take what they say and put it there. Um, it's just faster. Remember, why is this last? Because if you recall on, on the previous thing that I had here, the number one thing is your headline. And then number two, if you got their attention, number two is what they're getting, their benefits. Like why? Why is it? that your, your, your stuff is going to be good for them, the benefit for them. So really, it's all about them. This right here is just to make your website look nice. And so here is another thing too, by the way. So this is the five things that you need to have. Can you have more than this? Absolutely, you can. But here is the only extra things that you can add to this. This is what I'm telling you. When I when I first told you uh, started this this conversation here with you guys, uh, and Bridget has something here to say. Feel uh, feel like you are in your twenty again, and we get lots of app to make them better. Uh, okay, so maybe uh, you're saying like um, benefits. You might be talking about benefits there. That's cool, but I was gonna say this. When I first started this this uh, video with you guys, this training here, I told you that be careful to hire a web designer. I'm not against them. You need one eventually. But if you're starting out and if you want to get results, just do this. And later you can improve it. Well, here is the improvements that you can little by little put together. You know, and I understand that you do have to hire someone if you don't want to deal with the technicals. I, I completely understand. So, but just make sure you tell them exactly what you want and some of the things... Because see, here's, here's, here's the thing. I am a, a marketer. I am in marketing. A web designer isn't the technical designing. Totally different worlds, all right? That person doesn't know how to sell. They know how to create. I know how to sell, and I do have some technical experience, but I prefer sticking with my talent, my gift, my thing, right? So... Again, what is your thing? Okay, so that's what you need. And that's when, let's say if you are the techie type of person that you can actually create your own website, you know HTML, you know the the, the pixel codes, you know uh, scripting and right, all that stuff. Well, good, do it. But you're going to have to hire somebody to help you put the headline, right? Exactly what to say, what you want to say, how you want to say it, and the process too. So again, wherever you are. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting off topic here because all I wanted to tell you is this, that if you're going to actually update your website later on after having the, the basic that will work, then you want to add then um, your features. That's when you want to add the features. And you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, are you, think, are you kidding me? You know, shouldn't I add the features right here and then? You want to get started? Do that first. Because what's going to happen? What's the worst that can happen? They're going to read your headline, 10 pounds in three days and I get to eat sugar? Oh my goodness, I need to get this. And they skip the benefits. 
or 10 pounds in three days with eating sugar, how is that possible? And then they're going to read the benefit. While well, you do this, you're not going to get that and so on and so on. Right? And they're like, huh, that's interesting. Let me sign up. Maybe they'll move past the call to action and they'll go to the, they've seen the image, but then they get to the testimonials. Now your market is telling them why they should get it instead of you trying to convince them that your stuff is good. By this time, as a matter of fact, you can add a button, a call to action. I, I, I recommend adding a call to action button at the bottom of your testimonials. Because by that time, if they're not clicking, okay, you need to revisit your headline. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, so that's why I say if you're going to add something else, then maybe after this, you can say that the features, all right, you're going to get 24 seven access to this. You're going to get a coach. Uh, you're going to get uh, an equipment or you're going to uh, get a digital download or you're going to get an app, you know, the, the technical, the, the features of what you're offering. But again, if they're not clicking here first, you see what I'm saying? That's when you can improve, but only if you test what you have first. Okay. I think you guys got it, right? What do you think? And we get lots of apps to make the bed. Oh, that's the same thing that I was reading. So I hope that makes sense. Now, um, it's really a simple approach, but listen, I don't know about you. I like simple. I like to take action immediately on something that I can completely understand and go, go, go. Sometimes it may not work, but that's the reason why we do it, right? Because we need to actually test what we have. <laughs> you, know, you can't test something that you don't have. You'll always end up trying to make it better, 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 and never putting it out there. So this is a quick and easy fix to get that done. Make sense? All right, guys. Awesome. I appreciate you guys watching this recording. I appreciate you guys being here live with me as well. Thanks, Bridget. And all the times, if you want to actually get more info about what I'm doing, just go to my webpage. If you are in a different uh, platform, like I'm looking at you right now, then go to facebook.com forward slash optimistic marketer. You'll find me there. You'll see that I'm, I'm there practically doing the lives. A lot of times I'll do behind the scenes. So you'll be able to see that. Um, I'm still working on all of you guys to be able to see that, but for right now I'm in test mode. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of things changing in the future. So until further notice, I will continue to be here live with you Monday through Friday, 12 PM Eastern standard time, 9 AM Pacific, bringing you the marketing techniques for this always changing digital world. And I really hope that you take advantage of it today, right now, jump into this opportunity. It's going to be an amazing ride, especially at the end of this year. You'll see what I'm talking about. Watch, watch January come. Woo. It's going to be amazing. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much again. I appreciate it. Stay cool, stay calm and keep a sound mind. Peace.